Okay, so now I'm going to export the database from this site, the old site that I want to copy, and I go into PHP My Admin, and I've been through these and I've ticked the right ones, and I've selected all here. It's SQL. Um, there's a few that you need to tick here, and down here we go Save as File, No Compression and um, we'll stick with that underscore db underscore and click go down here and that will download the database from the old site and here is the database I downloaded from PHP admin and if I have a look at that you can see it's six megabytes which means we can successfully export and import it via PHP admin um, to the new site. If it was larger than 7 megabytes, unfortunately, we wouldn't be able to do this and you'd have to do it with shell. Okay, and now I'm in the database of the new site and what I have to do is import the database um, of the old site and that you go to MySQL here and import files, import files, choose file there and navigate to the database I just uploaded and then click go and this might take a while. That actually took a couple of minutes but now it says import has been successfully finished so I have now successfully copied the database from the old URL to the new URL. And the next thing I'm going to do is copy the files. So in FileZilla, I'm going to get and download all of that to my desktop. And that might take a while. Well, that took more than a few minutes, actually. Here is the um, downloaded site. It's only about a few months old. But I guess the images from um, all those posts took a bit of time to download. But now I'm going to upload all of that into the new folder. So I'm just going to open that and put all that in there. So this is all there. Just got to overwrite a couple of favicons. So this will take a while as, as well, I guess. So that is now all uploaded to the new server. I'm just going to download wp-config-php now and edit it to include the new URL. I'm also going to put in the new database uh, database username and password as well into the WP config PHP. Okay, I just uploaded the WP config PHP, and now if you go into WP blog talk, there is the new site, and if you click any of the links, it will go to the wp.blogtalk links so it all seems to be okay I'll tell you something else I've done is in the new site I've done a search and replace from the old URL to the new URL search and replace plugin here I search and replace those and I did it here as well And that means that all my links, even the internal links that I've put into the posts, like here, these go to the new site as well. So all the links, and I assume the images as well, just have a look at the 
yeah, there's an image source there. It's going to the new URL. Um, so it all basically has. Um, it's a completely new site and a new URL. All I've got to do now is create a new logo. Okay, so I have now got two identical sites. Uh, the content is identical, but uh, this is the new site, and I've been through it. I've changed the logo here. I've also changed. Um, uh, I, I've got the Aweber form sorted out here and here. I've changed from Mailchimp to Aweber. While we're about it, I've also changed this book. Um, which you can buy at the site and everything seems to be working fine. I've changed the contact form so it goes through to the new email address. Um, all the find and replaces seem to work. Um, there's one of them there, it's just, it's just a link and we're staying all at the new website, the new URL, so it's looking fairly good. So all that remains to be done now this is the old site, which um, is identical in, in content, um, more or less. All we need to do now is put a 301 redirect from the old site to the new site. And I found it here. It goes like that. And you put it in the HT access of the old site. So here we are. I'm going to look at that. And I've put that in and put in the new domain there. Let's just zoom in on this. All we've got to do is put in the new domain WP Blog Talk, and that is all you need in the old HT Access. So, yes, we're going to change HT Access. So now moment of truth, we're going to refresh this and hopefully this is going to go into the new site. Great, yeah. It was www.wordpresseomarketing.com forward slash the page. That was the old site. If I refresh that now, it goes to the same page on the new site, which is exactly what we want. So try and get something from Google. Let's see if I Google that, I can find. Yeah, here is uh, one of my posts through Google. I'll click on that and it'll go through to the new site. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for listening to this video. If you want any uh, advice on WordPress and SEO, it's my new URL now, wpblogtalk.com. My name's Rob Coven.